This is your KCTV 5 News Update. The Overland Park Police Department is responding to our questions about a protest in the city over the weekend. Four people were arrested. One has been charged with battery on a police officer. The protesters refused to talk to us. We've had several questions out for the police about their response. In a statement, the department says, quoting here, many protesters were act acting peacefully, but some were repeatedly instructed to return to the sidewalk and did not do so. They go on to point out that is against city code. The department says officers were given the option to remove name badges to protect them from concerns about doxing, which is publicizing identifying information about a person. They also denied claims that they restricted cell phone coverage. And they tell us those charges against that one protester were filed after one of the officers was injured with scrapes and bruises to their knee. Along with the statement, the department released 19 minutes of body camera video, so we're going through that right now. We'll have more on our newscast later today, starting at 4 o'clock. Happening today, two new lawsuits expected to be filed against the KC Catholic Diocese involving two priests. The Survivors Network of those abused by priests are holding a rally at 2 o'clock this afternoon outside the Kansas City Catholic Diocese headquarters. They tell us both of the accused priests worked in the Kansas City, Missouri area. We'll bring you the latest from that event on air and online at kctv5.com. It's okay, we're gonna do everything humanly possible to connect with kids. This is a whole new world. We miss our students so much. KCTV 5 is your school authority and more schools in the United States are working to create successful in-person programs as well as online programs. We're learning more about things like the Lunch Bunch where students can come together, meet up for a meal and some friendly chat. One counselor we spoke with is also talking about calming rooms where students can come to decompress. A virtual calming room is number one for me to get going for everybody. I want to read their body language. I want to see their eyes. I want them to hear in my voice, you know, the emphatic care I have for them. Students in some schools are also getting a daily survey that, depending on the results, could trigger a counselor reaching out to them. Many are also setting up Bitmoji virtual offices that look and feel a little more friendly. Still warm, still humid out there. This afternoon, temperatures make it into the upper 80s, right around 87 for the high. When we factor in the humidity, it's going to feel like it's about 91 to 93 this evening. Still warm, still muggy. Temperatures by 8 p.m. right around 83 degrees. So 87 warm, still humid today. Rain, thunderstorms return tomorrow with highs in the lower 80s. More rain and thunder likely on Thursday with a high temperature around 82. The rain shifts to the east on Friday and cooler and drier weather settles in for the weekend. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.